Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Dungeons of Ether, a dice-based roguelike dungeon crawler in the world of Rivals Not of Ether. Ago. Very excited to check it Before out here today. History. Let's go. Before legend, even, there was a battle between the elemental forces of Ether and the darkness from the abyss. The fight reshaped the land and lasted for generations. The people of Ether came together, all tribes, all elements, and sealed the darkness away. They freely gave everything they had to save each other and the world. The fallen and their treasures were buried deep beneath what is now Jewel's Veil. Vale. Now, countless fortune hunters and adventurers dive into the mines to find wealth and excitement. I fear they'll find a terrible darkness as well. All right. So yeah, we're going to be checking this out in demo form as part of the Steam Next Fest here today. I believe it has like a story mode, and I don't know if that means it has a story mode separate from a roguelite mode or what. But let's pop on in and see what we've got here today. But yeah, Rivals of Ether. I always wanted to say Aether, but you know, you heard the game. It's Ether. So there we go. Come on, come on. There's got to be some kind of incriminating evidence stashed here. Hey, who's there? Eliana, if it's you again, I swear. Eek. I mean... You can't hide your evil deeds forever, you Badger Co. Lackey. Beg your pardon? Prepare to face justice for your crimes against Jules Vale. Wait, I know you. You're that crazy vigilante who harasses folks around town. I'm Fleet, and I'm the Archer of Justice. My aim is always true. Uh-huh. Well, you missed the mark on me. I'm not with Badger Co. anymore, and I certainly don't have any love for them. A likely story. Believe what you want, when I warned them they were being stupid and reckless with their mining operations, they fired me. It was very public. I'm honestly surprised you didn't hear us hollering across ether. Oh-ho! Then you are a kindred spirit. You must delight at the thought of stopping their villainy. I wouldn't go that far. Although I wouldn't be opposed to throwing a spanner in their works and give the local businesses a chance to get back on their feet and stop the vile, their vile industry from corrupting our fair town with their eldritch uh, vileness. Oh boy. Badgerco is definitely up to something, but I'm not going to enable your power fantasy just to see you get hurt. I can fight. This bow isn't just for show. Uh, here's a few... Go a few rounds with my little training robot here. Let me see if you actually know how to use that thing. With pleasure. Let me explain how a pro does this. Watch and learn. I like to break a fight down into four stats. Attack, defense, accuracy, and speed. My stats are here on the left. And I'm guessing the dummy stats are like this here on the right. If my attack is higher than their defense, I will land a hit and maybe apply an effect. If my defense equals or is higher than the enemy's attack, I'll block them and be fine. Same goes for the opponent, though. Now let's look what we each can do. All of my skills are on the left and all the dummies are on the right. Okay. Right now, my attack is higher than my opponent's defense, so I'll land the hits. They show how much damage a character can take before fainting. Okay, so two, two hits before fainting, three hits before fainting. Lecture's over, time to apply that knowledge. Pick the strike ability to deal some damage. On connect deals one damage. Gotcha, so if if we our attack is higher than defense, we quote unquote connect. Thanks to my higher defense, I blocked the opponent. Yeah, I mean, yes. Did you see how my guard ability wasn't available? That's because I didn't have enough accuracy. So the higher my accuracy is, the more options I will have. Last but not least, let's talk about speed. Whoever has the most speed goes first. It makes sense. Crucial on effects that apply in the same turn. If I have the exact same speed as the opponent, I'll go first. It's the hero's initiative. Every turn starts with a dice draft. Oh, this is where it's going to get exciting for me. Each die's color matches the stat color. Drag the six attack die to your attack slot. Now I've added six to my attack. See that? The enemy took a die too. You got to be strategic in your picks. Oh, we pick from the same pool? Oh, that's different. You can only use any color die to give... I can use any color die... Give plus one to an off-colored stat. Gotcha. You can move your six attack die down a slot to increase your defense by one. 
Shouldn't we just do one of these, though? Even if it's just plus one to my defense, that's enough to block my enemy's attack. I should still outpace him with my higher speed, but it doesn't hurt to be cautious. And any die with a value of one can only be used with the... Oh, okay. Okay. That explains that. Uh, if it's a one, it can only be used on the same color. Now to pick the last die and finish the draft. So, I mean, we're already out speeding, so theoretically, like... It, are you gonna add... I mean, you, this has to be on color, I guess. We can't add to our attack. Uh, so that gives them another ability. Grants one three defense die on the next turn. To the pool? If it adds it to the pool, then that's kind of interesting. Uh, so are we striking... Sure looks like it. I need to, Oh, we have to finish the dice draft. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't want you to get the speed. Time to end the battle. So, theoretically, we strike. That's a really cool system that I have not seen before. Not in that way, no. It's... it's Yet, it's very simplistic. It's, it's very, like... I don't know. Board game vibes. Grants two stamina, ten coins... It's actually rather impressive. I know, right? You're uh, all a quiver with my archery skills. Stop that. Sorry. You might just be able to pull this off. First, I'm going to clean up the mess you've made in here. Sorry about that. Can I help? Yeah, get out of my way for a bit. All right. I'll just swing by the inn, see if anyone needs help in the meanwhile. Purchase a bed and rest. Okay, looks like there's a lot of options, but we only have this one right now. Oh, my, my. Welcome! You can't explore the depths on an empty stomach or tired feet. Why not grab a bite and rest a spell? You'll be amazed how much more you can do after a little R&R. &R. You need that rest, so... Okay. Oh, interesting. We click here. I mean, I don't know I don't know why I find that weird. It feels like the whole button should be... I did, not, it doesn't matter that much. It just feels weird. Oh, that felt great! Nothing like a nice rest to give me the little extra stamina I need for the battles ahead. All right, partner, what's the plan? We're not partners. If you're serious about this, first we need to do some reconnaissance. I'm sure Badgerco is modifying the designs I made for them. Intellectual theft, the fiends! More that they don't know what they're doing and somebody could get hurt. Head down to the cavern to see if you can find any blueprints. Sure we can't do something, you know, more? I'm the Archer of Justice. How will anyone know about all the good I'm doing if there's no razzle-dazzle? Already dealt with one vainglorious hothead. Don't make me regret working with you. Sorry. Think of it this way. If we know how they're building and repairing their diggers, you'll know where to snipe the weak spots, right? Hey, yeah. Now you're talking back in a flash. I've got to go find and retrieve Isla's blueprints from the Badger Co. in the mines. Okay, fair enough. I, whoop, hello. I can press the left click to move into a room, hold right to look around, press tab to toggle auto mode. Interesting. Well, hello there. So this is a pretty straightforward little... I mean, if I just slot in all the super defense, then this kind of just seems like a turn where nothing's going to happen, right? Oops, one sec. Okay. So I can add to my attack, but it's not going to really be relevant, right? You have no gem equipped. Grant to stamina. So what's your deal? I guess on connect, grants... I guess that's the thing. I could go for like a... A guard. I need to draft my dice first. That has to happen first. Shouldn't really matter. Hmm. Can't pierce this defense with my current draft. But I can still salvage this. I can use my techniques to help myself now or in the future. Don't even need to land a hit to make them work. Better brace myself and use my guard this turn. Yeah. So, okay. So, that's what I, that was my question. I was like, if it's just being added to the pool, kind of, who cares? Uh, what's with these drafts? I don't have enough attack. Again. At least I have that extra defense thanks to that technique I used last turn. But even using my two defense dice to increase my attack, I won't beat his defense. Eureka, the stamina I recovered at the tavern can boost any of my stats. Stamina can grant plus three to your attack during this turn. 
Okay. So we... You're telling me we need to use all of them? Still not enough. Still have the peach I won from that last battle. Why would we want to do this, though? I mean, more power to you, I guess. Aha! Have at you! And then we also will want to... I mean, I guess you can't... I mean, I guess that's fine. All right. I mean, I'll take the six, I suppose. But now this is a little bit... spicier. We keep on rolling these... I feel like, you know, in the normal game, we're not going to be rolling so many freaking ones. Their attack is way more than my defense. I only have enough accuracy to do a strike. My speed is higher, so I should be able to end this fight first. And I forgot enemies can use their stamina at the end of the draft, too. He's going to get the first hit. Now I'm out of options. As long as I don't lose all three hearts, there's always a chance to heal that. Okay. Gotcha. You've unlocked a new attack, React. On Connect, deal a damage and instantly grant yourself three defense. Take advantage of your speed by instantly increasing your defense after a Connect. I'm assuming it's a, uh, like a higher tactics ability, though. What the hell? Is that a treasure chest? I gotta have some useful items inside. Unlock it, I have to beat each stat number using my draft, items, and even my stamina. But I can reroll my remaining draft only three times, so hopefully luck is on my side today. So, I mean, like, I feel like a three for that and that for that. That's all ready fine. I can open more. Wait. I can open more. Are you telling me that we get to do this and then? Oh, interesting. I, I thought that it was just going to reroll the remaining ones. I didn't realize we get a full new set like that. That's interesting. Okay. Grants one, two attack, die. You unlock a new attack. Grants one, two attack, die on the next turn. And one, two accuracy, die on the next turn. Improve your chances to connect next turn. Useless in battle, value to shops. Hello there, you. I mean, you know... To an extent, what are you going to do? I think we're going to need to go first and use our um, react is the idea. I mean, don't I, I, am I not taking both? They're definitely going to land their next hit. I'm out of stamina to help my stats, but I can use my speed to my advantage. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I got you there. But that is very cool. That's why speed is of the essence. All right. Do we kind of... What's the deal here now? I can do an off-color thing just to add one. Like, if my if I outspeed you like a son of a gun, I could just kind of like... If I take that, theoretically, don't I just beat you here? Yeah. Yeah. I was expecting somebody to come in and say, no, no, not like that. Uh, stun. Deal a damage, instantly discard one of your opponent's dice. Ooh. Grants the discarded die. Grants the discarded die on their next turn. Wait, you, wait, I get the next one on the next turn? That's, okay. That's pretty nuts. Gem of the wind, discard all opponents, one die. A gem I can embed it into my weapon for extra effects. This one will automatically discard any die with a value of one drafted by my opponent. They don't last for forever, though, so I need to keep an eye on their durability meter. Cool. Ooh, there's a doctor up ahead. I can finally recover all my HP. I suppose it's, like, to lay down that way in case there's more options. So there's a blueprint. Stamina dice can be used in any slot while keeping their value intact. Okay. 
I will take it from you. Oh, yeah. Defense on defense on defense. So I guess we probably want to care a little bit more about... Our abilities... So what's up with this, though? What's that little... This little whoosh-whoosh. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. I was not... I was not fully paying attention. I was... See, this is why... <laughs> this is why I don't like it when games just do the handhold tutorial like crazy. I just assumed that they were going to step in here. All right. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm happy with the fact that they didn't, but now... Now I know that we are theoretically actually for real on our own now. Good to know. Oh, well, we're taking that. So. Is that... Oh, they're just like that because I can, like... I discard all the opponent's side. Like, do I have to click this, maybe? I think I'm good to just kind of strike here. Or am I going to outspeed no matter what? Nah. Speed or accuracy? I'll go for speed. On connect to accuracy on the next turn. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine regardless there. So if we go for accuracy up, we can react. Can I? Okay. Okay. Should mean we block. Gotcha. Ah, now that's trickier. Now that's trickier here. I kind of figured that might be the case. So you are you actually you're missing one health, right? Yeah, you're missing one. I'm taking that. So we absolutely get to do the kill. My accuracy is down. I'm going to need to cast something to even strike at all. You can't deal damage to me. As far as I'm aware, it says you have no stamina. Okay, we're good. And you got shields out the wazoo here. I think... Um, I was going to say building up, like, focus or something would be good. Guard's not bad for now. It looks like no attack is going to really break through here. So, when does this actually hit? None of this is all, like, mattering at all. It's, it's like, if I add an attack, if I add a defense, it doesn't really matter. I guess I just don't want you to have another defense. So we can react, doesn't really matter, not gonna connect, we can get the defense for the next turn. Works for me. Super duper accuracy. I kinda just wanna steal the defense. We don't need that much accuracy, really. But we need some. I thought you were going to tie... If, if you tie defense, what happens? Is that... That means nothing? I guess. This is very slick. New attack. Instantly grant two stamina. Only when your stamina is four or lower. Great way to recharge your stamina. If you can't connect on your turn. Rare grant four stam. Just curious. Just curious if we could... Underground Bulletin. I, you know, I'm not going to. Again, as per usual, I will roll, like, roll through this here. You can pause. I'm going to move down. You can pause. I'm going to move down. Oops. You can pause. And I move down. You can pause. I, I, I'm not going to go. That's There's too much. Too much for me to do right now. We've got to find and retrieve Ayala's blueprints from the Badger Co. in the mines. Yep. So, theoretically, we just do this right now. So, you are a guy. You're like an actual son of a gun. Oof. I thought that might be the case. So... 
So, I feel like I need to go first. If I take this, you're going to take... Well, I would... I don't know, man. It's rough. We might want to use our cheese. Okay, so you went you went for the accuracy. Yep, that checks out. So you have two stamina. Are you going to use it? This feels like a boss type beat, you know? We want that. That gives us three defense. If you use your stamina, I am upset. This should work. So I think they use their stamina right away, yeah? Sure seems like it'd be the case. Well, I could just guarantee that I don't take damage. With the six defense on the board, I mean, they're just going to take it if I don't. Maybe they're going to take it even anyways. Oh, we killed it. Okay. Um, more accuracy to go for, like, react or something is not a bad idea. But then you're going to outspeed me. So it makes no sense. You're going to use some stamina. Well, if you use some stamina, then I'll use some stamina, right? So you are at six. You're not going to hit, right? Am I out of my mind? You're not. What did, what did you add? You added defense. So I can just add one. I'm connecting now, right? Wait, was I was I connecting already? No. It does need to beat it. That's what I thought. I thought it needed to actually excel beyond it. And then you're not hitting me, so I, I don't know. Seems seems weird to add all that. Guard. I think maybe we this turn go for something a little bit just um, cheeky and defensive. That has to be on connect. To attack to accuracy. I, I kind of like the idea of just sort of guaranteeing that we kill next turn. Do we get stamina back? We get stamina back after. So actually, maybe, maybe it's better off for us to buff ourselves up for next turn. Like next, uh, like next combat even, because stamina goes stays throughout, right? Shoot. This is not gonna. We're not gonna break through. So we could go for the react, or not the react. Uh, focus, maybe. I have the stamina to get through this if we need to. You're not beating mine. Good. So we can't get that. Uh, focus. We should be fine for next turn. All right. Let's take the five. Now, it's kind of just important that we just go first, right? It's mostly the most important thing. So you can take that and go up to three. That doesn't really matter. We should be fine to go first. Speed four. Yeah. We could have put the defense up there. It would have been fine. I, I'm just like, I'm worried that we're going to take a hit here, but I shouldn't. It's one away from lethal. We're all good. Man, we keep unlocking new stuff. Uh, snipe deals one damage, grants two, two, three stamina dice on the next turn. Wow, that must be like a really high uh, tactics. Deal one damage this turn and get a big flexibility bonus on the next turn. That does seem pretty nuts. Quest complete. Very cool, very cool. Thank you for playing Dungeons of the Ethan. No! We available on Steam February 2023. Oh no, that's it?
That's heartbreaking. It's so good. Oh, that's heartbreaking. And yet... And yet... We might as well... Uh, you know, I, I, it seems like we're... It, it's a pretty scripted first look in here. Uh, but yeah, the, the fact of the matter is it like has a roguelite angle to it. So at the very least, either the main story... Like, there's a main story that's scripted and there's a roguelite mode. Ooh. The hell do we have here? Blurry... Slade, light-footed, so many glittering goodies. The heck? I mean, look at this. Six-pack abs on a freaking shark. Why not? Oh, it's showing off all the different, like, zones, kind of enemies we're going to fight. The pixel art is just so good. Like, you know, there's obviously a certain style to the art that, you know, is going to be for some people and not for others. But you have to admit, regardless, that the pixel art is crisp as hell. And I like how vibrant, you know, I just like how vibrant it is. That's one thing. Uh, we wall runners work to protect everyone. I'm just happy to, to see these other champions. I mean, we know who you are. Uh, but this is so slick. It's just like the core concept and core design of the combat is actually like incredible, incredible, incredible. But I can only imagine that clicking again takes me right back into the... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skip to what happens if you skip tutorial? I mean, let's be honest, there kind of was more tutorial after that. Yeah, sort of what I anticipated. Uh, that is that. But that is going to do it here for today. Dungeons of Ether. I can assure you that I would like to check this one out again for sure. Uh, small demo. Wish there was more to the demo, but hey, it's always a, like leaves you wanting more. I knew I was going to check it out in the future, anyways, but now I'm really going to check it out. But hey. That is that. It's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy, you know, games in this genre, if you like dungeon crawlers, turn-based tactics, strategy, especially dice-based games and the roguelike kind of genre, if any of those are appealing to you, let alone a combination of any of them, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to on top of the fact that I am definitely going to cover more of this when there is more of this to cover because it is so good. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.